Praise God, everyone. I pray that this finds you all well. I just want to share, um, I guess this would be a word of correction. As always, it'll be given with love and I will give plenty of encouragement at the end, okay? So let's get into it. So many of you all have fallen into a category where you've been disobedient, all right? Um, and, and not necessarily because of anything that you are doing, but because of things that you are not doing. And what I want you to understand is failure to do the things that the Lord has called you to do will land you under the umbrella of disobedience. And you cannot be disobedient and still positioned. In order to remain positioned to hear the Lord, to receive from the Lord, and to serve the Lord, you have to be obedient. You cannot be a rogue soldier. You cannot be an unprepared soldier. You cannot be an unreliable soldier. The Lord has to be able to depend on you when he says to do a thing. He has to know that you're going to move and that you're going to do it and that you're going to do it consistently. Not you'll do it for three weeks and stop. Not you'll do it for a month and stop, but consistently. And there's many people who are under the sound of my voice right now who are going to come across this message where the Lord is warning you to do those things that he's called you to be. Do not fall into disobedience over such simple, a lot of these things, thank you, Holy Spirit, a lot of these things are just daily things. They're just daily tasks. Exercising, eating well, refraining from watching certain things on social media, um, refraining from watching certain things on television. Understand that when you're obedient to the Lord, you land yourself automatically in a place of protection. Right? Because you're on the path that the Lord wants you to be on. And when you are disobedient and straight off of that, you can easily end up in enemy territory. And I'm not saying this to scare anyone, but I just want to be honest with you all. You can end up in enemy territory and the grace of the Lord will have to save you. But you can save yourself a lot of that. You can save yourself a lot of warfare. You can save yourself, you know, a lot of sleepless nights and bad dreams if you would simply just walk in obedience. Make being obedient to the Lord your permanent lifestyle. Do not move unless he says to move. Do not do anything that contradicts him or what he's spoken to you. And you will fare well. You will be protected. He'll keep you safe in your time of trouble. And he will deliver you out of the snare of the fowler. Amen. Right? But understand that when you are disobedient, you give the enemy a license to harass you. Because essentially, you are in a territory that you have no business being in. And for many, it's a theme. It happens continuously where you'll do really, really good and then you'll fall off. And just stop the theme. Once you pick up that thing or you stop doing that thing that the Lord is calling you to do, just continue on. Keep pressing. Keep pressing on. It's not worth losing your position. Because contrary to what some people will preach and teach, you can Knock yourself out of alignment for what the Lord wants to do for you by being disobedient, by not obeying what the Lord has told you to do. You can delay things by not being obedient. I use the example of school a lot. 
and I'll use it again here. The Lord told you you were going to be a doctor and you never go and enroll in school. Let's apply some wisdom here. How are you ever going to graduate and become a doctor? That's what it's like when you're believing the Lord for certain things that he has spoken over your life, but you are not being obedient and doing the things that he called you to do. Sounds a bit ridiculous, right? If I go around telling everybody, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a surgeon. And they're like, oh, where are you going to school? Oh yeah, I'm not, not in school. So, (laughs) you know, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Yet somehow there's this narrative going around that, you know, the, the, the Lord spoke a thing over someone's life and they can sit around and do nothing and it's just going to happen there's a process that you have to follow and you have to be obedient the lord does everything with decency and order so there's steps that you have to take to get to the place that he's called you to be just like david David got a word that he was king. He was anointed as king. But there were still several steps that he had to take to be able, right, to come into his kingship. It just wasn't overnight. There was battles that he had to do. He had to be obedient. He had to go, you know, he had to go fight Goliath. Then he had to go soothe Saul, right, when the spirit was tormenting him. He, he had to camp in trenches and go through battles and he had to do so much. The word never changed. He became king. But the Lord didn't erase the, the process. Same thing with the Israelites. Right? When they left Egypt and they went into the wilderness... And then eventually, when they finally, finally made it into the promised land, there was a process. There was instructions that they had to follow in order to capture the land and dwell in it. You know, they didn't just blink their eyes twice and wake up in this beautiful land. There was a process. All right, so please, 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 if this word is for you, Go into the secret place with the Lord and ask for him to reveal to you what you need to be doing in order to get where he is taking you. Many of you already know that's how you ended up in disobedience because he already told you. But if you're confused about it and that's why you haven't done it, just go go into him and ask. I have to ask that all the time. Lord, what is, what is it? I can already see the signs and the indication in my life when I've completely missed a sticky note, I call it. You know, the Lord gives me something to do and I'm like, okay, you know, I have this list of stuff for you that I'm working on and the sticky note goes there and then, you know, oh gosh, it falls off the desk and now it's under the wheel of my chair and, you know, it, it, you know, it's just gone. And then he'll come back and he'll, he'll be like, you know, Janelle, I, what's going on with this thing? Like, I, I told you to do this. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that totally, totally escaped me. Now I've got to go back and I've got to take care of that thing. So it's not always done in a malicious way. If you need more information, just ask. Ask in your secret place with a a pure heart. Incline your heart to perform his statues. And he will reveal a thing to you. Amen. This goes back to Proverbs 15 and 32. Heed correction and you will begin to understand. I decree and declare that all those who heed this correction will begin to understand their assignments in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare according to Proverbs chapter 15 and 32 that everyone that hears this message that heeds the correction will begin to understand their assignments in the name of Jesus. I pray that this blesses you, and if you have questions, feel free to email me. Praise God.